Welcome to Collinsville, Oklahoma. It's currently 29 degrees outside because I'm dumb. And I figure in the end of March, it'll be warm, but I have a couple of amazing cars to shoot here. And uh, so I went ahead and came here anyway. And then when I leave here, I'm heading even further north, so it's probably gonna be even colder, but uh, should have saved this for spring and should have stayed in Texas. But uh, when you see the cars I have to shoot, this will warm you up a little bit, but uh, I love small hot rod shops. We're at Davis Hot Rods outside of Collinsville. And I think there's a side door over here. Obviously stealing power like I always do because I'm everyone's cousin Eddie. Oh, look, everybody's awake this morning. Everybody got their pants on. Everybody's yeah. dressed. All of our clothes are on. Yeah. I don't have my robe on for bed. <laughs> But yeah, I get to shoot this amazing blue Chevelle. I found this at Starbirds. I tried not to shoot it, but it's so nice I couldn't not shoot it. So we're here in Collinsville to shoot. This is one of three we're shooting. Two Chevelles and a Corvette, and they're all real close to each other. So, all right, I'm gonna try and get some coffee. They're protecting me from this dog. He's trying to kill me. Did you say my name is Frank? Hi, Frank. Hey, Frank, the shop dog. Frank's got teeth. I played with him last night. <laughs> <laughs> So I had to take a break for daylight donuts and sausage rolls. And then we were also having a conversation about the town of Hooker that's here nearby. And uh, oh wait, oh, we're gonna have don we have donuts too. Oh yeah. Donuts. Look, it's the unveiling of donuts. Ooh. This is why I'm getting that's no That's not what I ordered, donut. but all right. <laughs> that's not what you ordered? What? No, I ordered half glazed and half chocolate. Uh, Surprise! Sure. Surprise! <laughs> close. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I want this. But yeah, so, uh, oh yeah, where's your paper? Oh. So where's the news? You guys see this newspaper is pretty funny on this car. And I'm still shooting this blue Chevelle. I think I'm three hours in. I've got seven photos. Oh, you just leave it in the toolbox. Yeah, so it's, uh, he made the, uh, the hooker newspaper. So it's the hooker advance. So they always advance hookers in Oklahoma. But all right, I'll stop being stupid and get back to taking <laughs> pictures of cars and eating sausage rolls. All right, so I have this stuff that winds up on vi behind the scenes that no one ever sees because I was running a time lapse. But I had to stop this because we started having a conversation that you bought the rear end for this car in 1982. Yes, sir. Yes. And so the funny thing is, I was like, I made a joke. I'm like, oh, that's funny. You have a 1982 rear end. And then what did you say? So do I. <laughs> <laughs> so I take it you were born in 1982 then. Yes, I was. Yeah, so. But, uh, so when you were talking to Curry, and what did what did Curry say when you were, when you called him about it? I asked him about the rear end when I and he said, "Well, that was before we had everything computerized." And and then uh, I said, "Well, I still need the information anyway." He told me, "He goes, well, usually when I build a cr project, I like to have it done in a couple of years." And I go, "Well, so do I, but it's not happening this time." So. <laughs> how long how long was this project? Uh, in the original state. Um, Jim had it for three years, took three years to do the project, but I had, I started this project in 1982. Awesome. Oh, let me go back to this newspaper. So it was in the top drawer of the toolbox, right? Uh, bottom big one. Bottom big one. I just rummage through people's drawers in their shops. Don't mind me. All right. So here's another funny story. So here, hold this. All right. So that's you obviously with it when you when we made a local paper. So tell me the story about your son and when you told him he could drive it okay and actually uh, when i built my idea for the car was uh, i was going to drive it till my son turned 16 and he could have it when he was 16 
he finally got to drive it last year when he turned 40. So yeah, close enough. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's when he made a promise this poor little kid, and then <laughs> you know finally at 40 years old he got to drive this. But he's having a car built, right? Oh yes, we're building. Jim's building a 1968 Camaro. Oh, so, so yeah, yeah, so it, it's not too bad. You're making it up. You're making it up to each other then. Yeah. You? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah and, uh, All right, back to taking pictures. I also have to thank the guys here at Davis Hot Rods because I'm getting ready to go to the Roaster Shop podcast, and they used to do the truck stop finds, and uh, I, they took me to dinner last night. The Silver Diner dinner, a uh, Silver Diner, Silver Dollar, Silver, Silver Dollar, Dollar Cafe. Cafe in Collinsville, and it's got they've got pool tables and they've got a little flea market section in there, but uh, they have a brass knuckle slingshot. So I figure what's more roadside can't find anywhere, but hopefully uh, this does this won't air before I I'm actually on the podcast because if it is I won't show this. But thanks to these fine people taking me to the great establishments in Oklahoma, I was able to find a brass knuckle slingshot, and I'm gonna add that to see if they'll bring back truck stop finds on the Roaster Shop podcast. But all right, now I'm gonna go back to taking pictures. Here comes everybody's favorite part. Meet Jim Davis. He's gonna tell us about this blue Chevelle that we've been photographing first thing this morning. Hi, so we built this for Steve Hofferber. Uh, let's go front to back. Dapper headlights, great product to deal with. Uh, it's 496 stroke motor, Holly EFI, running a Jody's transmission. Jody Haig was great to work with. Uh, we've got shot wheels on it. We put, a, we put a cage in it, it's got TMI interior, uh, just just a good product. E-stop, we use that for the uh, emergency brake. Uh, Jay Kirkland, our wiring guy, took care of all the 12 volt stuff. Just a good build. All right, we'll let Steve tell you a little bit more about that because Jim said I'd rather be building cars than talking about cars, so. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we went with all Tamco products uh, from the sealer primer all the way to the paint. We used Blazing Blue, for the paint, the stripes are Blizzard of Oz, which I just love that name. So, um, and uh, that's it on the paint. Jim did an excellent job. I had the uh, 496 emblem uh, made for Oriana Machine Works, uh, did that. Um, we put the big old fat Mickey Thompsons on it. Um, and uh, the spoiler, spoiler's by Randy for the front, yes. front spoiler. We'll point that out. Cool. Uh, Anyway, we were kind of going for a look that pretty much stock, but when you get to looking at it, you can see a lot of subtle changes. Like so, anyway, oh, yeah, it's, it's a great build. Yeah. So, how long have you had the car? I've had the car. I bought it and actually bought it late in 1981 and tore it down in 1982 with the with the um, idea of building a pro street machine, which was really popular at the at then, and uh, went through uh, job changes, relationship changes location and uh, it sat in one stage or another for 37 years uh, three actually four years ago I took it to Jim Davis at Davis Hot Rods in Collinsville did a three-year frame off build and uh, this is this is the result of Jim's hard work for three years so awesome so. thank you very much yeah well I'll try to post a picture he's got a picture I'm gonna get him to send it to me of what it looked like when he got it and uh, definitely not even close to <laughs> what it is now but yeah, this is this is a great one. I like this one a lot. This is, you know, just just enough trick stuff, but still just enough stock, so you know it's a Chevelle. But it's 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 a bad dude. I really like it. Great car, man. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thanks. So, in the in the name of equality is the reason why you're driving, right? That's right. Uh -huh. 
or is it for another reason? Jim, why am I driving? Because you hit my, your keys are in here. So it makes my, your seats wrong. How wrong, Jim? Oh, <laughs> Jesus, I'm on that. <laughs> I thought it had something to do with body. I thought, yeah, I thought it had something to do with uh, with you being too you short. Can, you can reach my pedals. pedals. Well, yeah, because her, it's yeah, that key makes it oh, so, so I the keys fall. The keys fall, so reach. I can't reach. Yeah. However, if you just push uh, one, this button right here, the pedals will come to you. Whatever, that's all technology. <laughs> <laughs> we'll turn my welder on and use that. <laughs> hey, I can. You know that. I'll move this light out of the way too. Plus, any chance to hear this thing fire up and get moved anyway, I'm I'm not gonna complain. So you can tell we're in a different garage now, shooting another Chevelle. I'm I'm running late from talking too much on the other photo shoot, so. We're uh, here shooting the uh, second Chevelle and this vet over here. So we're swapping spots. Just finished shooting interiors. Plus nothing better than hearing loud stuff fire up in the garage. No, that smells great. <laughs> it's almost as good as barbecue. Not quite. It's damn close though. <laughs> I bet this one's gonna be a little rowdy too, and oh, yeah, uh, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> oh, you're fine. There's plenty of room. Yes, sir.
that doesn't suck. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, no. oh, my God. This is why I have the best job in the business. I get to go to people's cool shops and shoot stuff like this. And that rowdy Chevelle out there. Shooting these for Nick at uh, All Chevy Performance. Yeah, we're having a little bit of fun today. So we're just a little bit down the road from when we shot the uh, Blue Chevelle and we've got a couple of different style cars than what we shot. So it was supposed to be a two for two on Chevelles. But of course we're shooting this vintage Corvette race car. But first we'll get Jason Schultz to tell us about, well, what's this motor? Well, this is a 383 blown small block. And that's going into a truck project you have. truck project. 48 building. truck project. Yeah. But let's walk over and you tell me about your Chevelle here, here real quick that we just photographed for uh, all Chevy performance. This is my 71 Chevelle. My great grandma bought this car and I got it when she passed. Oh. And, uh, it's been in my family the its whole life. That's awesome. I drove it through high school and fresh painted it green, white stripes, and it got stolen from me in 1994, stripped. And then it's been this project, and here it is today. Awesome. It's got a 496 stroke big block, turbo 350 tranny, 430 rear gear. She's a beast. She's a beast, definitely a beast. Yeah, because when I... When I found you guys, it, uh, you were actually cleaning this when I got to Starbirds. And this is one of the, you're the first person I actually talked to. And I was like, you had the hood open. I was like, this car is awesome. And uh, so, and it wound up into shooting a blue Chevelle with these guys, shooting this Corvette. But this is the thing that caught my eye. Cause to me, this, these street beast Chevelles are one of the yeah. coolest things ever. So how much power does it make? Do you know? It's making a little over seven. A little over seven, yeah. sweet. I don't tell everybody all my secrets. <laughs> I don't blame you. So, <laughs> so uh, you notice the tag on the rear. When oh, you I, I did not notice the tag on the rear. I'm I'm slack. Let's see the tag on the rear. If I can get through here, was this like your garage or something? This is my garage. Whoop, whoop. I, like, I like work on shit. <laughs> I don't work on anything. I just take pictures. Oh, nice. So she's evil. <laughs> awesome. All right, so now we'll come over and talk to Mike and this awesome Corvette. Now you were telling me a story, you were building another Corvette when you got this one, right? Yeah, I've always liked uh, road racing. I used to race go-karts as a kid, so I liked turning corners. And um, so well, I, I bought a 65 Corvette uh, convertible in 82, and I was going to build it as a street legal road race car. Uh, make it look like a grand sport and uh, through the years with life's challenges uh, I ended up selling the car um, and then years later I came across a uh, post on one of the Corvette Facebook uh, uh, groups and uh, this guy was asking if anyone was interested in a, a tribute 65 Corvette race car so I immediately responded to that and uh, we got to talking and he sent pictures. And this is exactly the way I was going to build my 65 convertible. Awesome. And so uh, he sent me the history of it and um, he, he had a 62 Corvette that he raced and then his son, Brian, raced this one. Uh, they made it into a race car in the uh, early 2000s, I believe, when they got it. And uh, it raced until about 2017 or so when when Brian passed away suddenly. Um, they raced a, a lot of the vintage um, courses up around Denver area. It's raced at the uh, uh, Denver Grand Prix, uh, High Plains Raceway, La Junta Raceway and even out here at Hallett here in Oklahoma. 
So it's it's good that it came back to one of the tracks that it had raced at. Awesome. I'm uh, retiring it for, from a full-blown race car, and uh, we uh, are going to put it on the street and autocross and uh, the occasional track day. Uh, we built a, a new uh, small block with lower compression so I can run pump gas but still make uh, almost 600 horsepower with it. Awesome. So uh, it's it's a fun little car for us. Nice. And you said you got a lot of log books and stuff too from its racing history, some of the log books from its racing history too. Right. So, so you have some of the racing history with it as well, which is awesome. So it's cool that you get to be the caretaker of this you know, race car because you know it is history, so it's per pretty awesome. And then you were saying that even though Jason makes some more horsepower, if you if you had to race him, you just gotta find a place with a couple turns and you're good to go, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Bring it on, son. Bring it on, son. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna go find a couple locations to shoot these three cars today here in outside of Collinsville. But uh, thanks for following along and we'll get back to taking pictures and having a good time. Found this cool old gas station in Collinsville. We're getting ready to shoot this vet here. Hopefully we don't disturb the neighbors too much unloading a race car. But uh, retired in 2003, 1945, it's a cool old place. I wish fuel was still this cheap. Here comes the first victim. Yeah, that's gonna be a cool spot for this. I am trying to avoid the senior citizens bus though. Man, that'll never get old. That's so awesome. So it's two twenty-four for fuel and a dollar ninety-four ninety-five for fuel. Better than fourteen ninety-nine a gallon race fuel in it. <laughs> This is a great spot for this car though. Oh yeah. Wait till you see these pictures. Something wicked this way comes.
Hey, go over there. Oh. He can't hear me. Turn around and come back toward me. Oh yeah. Kicking up some dust. So come this way. Turn the wheel that way just a hair. Turn the wheel to the right just a hair. No, it's, I'm going to your left, sorry. I'm stupid. Perfect. The dog says... It got pretty dusty. That's fine. It's silver. We'll say it's the metallic in it. Yeah, so see we got this 70s feel of the tassels and we have the old 70 car wash it's almost like a used car lot yeah. you know so i've been kicking this around in my head because we were over there looking for the shoot the blue chevelle and i just think this looks cool because you have this old 70s feel to it yeah oh yeah i gotta get some taco casa in there Why did I say perfect and there's no way you can hear me? Go forward like you're going by the angle towards that stall. I right, stop right there. Stop right there. Perfect. That's it. Yeah. You what? Yeah, turn the wheel straight. Turn a little to the left a little bit. There you go, like that's fine. Thank you, sir. Huh? What? Huh? <laughs> All right. 
right, that concludes this awesome Evel Chevelle. I'm gonna film you driving out. I'm not condoning anything that you might do when you leave here. That's awesome. But, uh, but thanks for your time. It was awesome hanging out with you. Thanks. So, beautiful thanks car. Thanks for watching. Look, Appreciate yeah, it. look forward to being in the magazine. Hope you enjoy it. Yep. We had a great time. Thanks, Thank man. You. Yep. It's a perfect sunset. All right, two down, one to go. Another uh, beautiful Chevelle. We got to go over to this. If I point in the right direction, this repair shop over here. It's already over there, so I need to load my stuff up. We're running out of daylight, but uh, having a great day in Collinsville, Oklahoma. Uh, even though it's already back to like 36 degrees. Uh, stay All tuned. Right. This is my spot for the last one. This should be pretty awesome. good yep straight uh the mag is uh yeah let's go ahead and straighten up straighten the tire, the tire for airing it yeah. out yep oh. yep you can go to the right just a hair there you go right there yeah. awesome awesome it's not like i'm from alabama today I've been in Oklahoma too long. Oh, wow. I had to edit that out of this video. Uh -oh. People from Oklahoma will, will be insulted that I sound like I'm from Alabama. So when you get back in, I've got to put from your feet. Okay. All right, we're running late on light because we're getting close. So uh, we're going to finish shooting with the first one we shot this morning. Uh, this will be our third one for the day, but uh, pretty excited. What's the name of the shop again? Scotty's. Scotty's. Scotty's was nice enough to let us use their facility here. So we got all these cool tires in the background, all the other fun stuff. And uh, we we're originally gonna shoot around the front. It's got a nice old brick fascia and garage doors, but I like these old tires a little bit better. So we're gonna shoot back here and hope to be done in about an hour before it gets too dark. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Oh, I got a, well, got a little crooked. Oh, you're fine. I'm always a little crooked myself.
I'm gonna make him look like he's coming out of the door. So start coming this way. Yeah. All right, keep coming this way. Keep coming, keep coming. All right, now turn the wheel to look down. Now back up, yep. Back up. Yeah, back up. Yep. Keep going. Keep going. Perfect, right there. Have him, have him turn the wheel to the left a little bit. Turn the wheel to the left. Perfect, right there. Yep. Man, it looks dope. Oh, look, I can see my house from here. And just like that right back where we started hadn't we started with donuts we had mexican food which that didn't make the video but uh we're back here at jim davis's had a great time started with a chevelle finished with a chevelle oh i see someone hiding back here there's kids running around the background they're supposed to be in bed probably but uh yeah so we had a great time today had a great time with Steve Chevelle. Look for an upcoming feature of it in all Chevy performance. Nick Licata is going to put this one on the cover. I have, I have my fingers crossed. And then when it doesn't, blame him, don't blame me. But yeah, beautiful Chevelle. Great work, guys. And thanks for the hospitality today. And uh, had a great time. All right, in the morning, heading to Nashville. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. My wife wanted me to ramble more on video, so you saw more behind the, the scenes. But after she watches this one, she'll probably tell me I need to knock that off. So thanks for following. I'll see you guys soon.